My name is Amy Griffin from OverallQuilter.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make pillowcases with hidden seams. And what I mean by that is that you will not have any flyaway hairs or threads on your seams. On the top or on the sides, we'll do a French seam on the sides. Um, this way you can do pillowcases and donate them to your local quilt shop for the 1, 000, 1 million pillowcase challenge. Um, a special thanks this week to Yolande, Francis, Terry, and Mary Beth for their donations. Let's go take a look at our pillowcases. So fabric comes 42 to 45 inches um, in width, so that's from selvage to selvage. We're going to keep that at 42. Um, I always leave my selvages on too. I don't worry about that until later. I'll square everything up in one shot later on. Uh, my sleeve, this is the sleeve part, which is the top part of the pillowcase, is a quarter of a yard, so 9 inches wide by 42 inches long. And I'm just going to lay that faced up on my uh, ironing board. Your next piece is the body of the quilt, which is the large piece of the, of the pillowcase, not the quilt. And that is 3 quarters of a yard, so 27 inches, again, by... 42 inches. And I'm going to lay that right on top of my sleeve, again with it faced up. My last piece, which is the accent piece, is an eighth of a yard, so four and a half inches by 42 inches. And I'm going to fold that in half and press it the long width so that my selvages, again, are all nice and, um, and even on each of the fabrics. And I'm going to lay that with the raw edge or the, the raw edge of the fabrics all lined up on top. And again, that lays on top of the body of the quilt. So, Again, it's the sleeve, the body of the quilt, and then the accent piece. Once you have those stacked, you're going to take the body of the quilt and fan fold it, creating a tube. And once you do that, you want to make sure that all your fabrics are lined up nice and raw edges. Once you have it fanned, then take the sleeve and bring it up and pin starting from the center out, making sure that you catch all your pieces. So I'm going to pull it down so I can see where I'm at. And I'm going to take it, and so I'm pinning my sleeve the body of the quilt, the accent piece, and my sleeve again. So that's one, two, three, four, five pieces. Be careful not to grab what you fanned inside. You don't want, you don't want that fold, that fan fold, to be caught in your seam once you start sewing. When I pin, I like to pin from the inside out so that the head of my pin is close to me and away from the raw edge. And the reason I do this is because I sew with my pins on so that my fabric all stays together. I'm going to go ahead and pin this and sew it and we'll be right back. So now that I've gone to my machine and sewed a quarter of an inch all the way down, I'm going to undo my tube. So just pull from the outer edge until all your pieces come right side out. And so you have your sleeve, your accent piece, and your accent piece could really be any size you want it to be. Um, your sleeve, your accent piece, and the body of the quilt. And so now I'm just going to give it a good press, and then I will square off my edges, my selvages, get rid of those selvages. 
and that's going to make my pillowcase nice and straight. Once you do that, we're going to show you how to do some French seams. So I'll be right back. So to make a French seam, you're going to take your two pieces and with wrong sides together, go ahead and seam it or sew it straight down about a quarter of an inch and then on the bottom as well as a quarter of an inch. You'll turn the pillowcase inside out and then you will stitch again five eighths of an inch this time in all the way down and across and then turn your pillowcase and it'll be done. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Take your pins and it's really important that you pin the intersection where your accent piece is so that they line up once you're so your, um, your seam is in. And you might have to wiggle that a little bit to get it nice and straight. And don't forget to backstitch or tack at the beginning of your seam because that's a stress point. And so since we're going to be putting the pillowcase in and out, you'll be able to um, uh, tear that seam. So always make sure that you tack that. I like to do pillowcases for birthday parties. You can put the birthday gift inside the pillowcase and pillowcases nowadays as, as inexpensive um, or less, uh, less expensive than buying uh, bags and tissue and birthday cards and all that good stuff. So I'm making this to go with my beautiful quilt that was on my backdrop when I did the intro. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine and stitch a quarter of an inch down and across and I'll be right back. So I have stitched it and I've turned my pillowcase inside out with the outside or the inside faced out now and I'm going to go back to my sewing machine and stitch going down the same length that I stitched before uh, down this way and down the bottom of the pillowcase. I do want to show you a trick I learned a, lo a long time ago on back tacking your seams. So let's follow me to the sewing machine. I've changed my quilting foot from a quarter inch foot to a regular foot so that I can catch a bigger seam. And I'm going to line it up with either my 5 8 or my half inch. I've got a pretty skinny quarter so I'm going to go with the half inch seam guide here. And I'm going to start with the pillowcase in a little bit further so that I can go backwards first and then go forward. This way it'll tack it but it won't have such a big seam that uh, the thread's going to look bad. So I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go forward and keep that all the way until you come across, uh, a down and across. to the bottom, stop about a half inch to five eighths of an inch, put your needle down and pivot your fabric. have to do the side and the bottom because we have a fold on this side. Once you have sewn side and bottom, cut your threads, turn your pillowcase inside out again. 
Now I always try and grab the corners of my pillowcase so that I have a nice little area there, little point there. Do the same thing with the other side. Let's see if I can find it. And you now have a cute pillowcase to go with your quilt. And there you go.